I'm talking about actuarial common entrance exam and this is an exam for the entrance uh, to the actuarial courses. This exam is taken by Actuarial Society of India. I'm going to talk about how to prepare for this exam and some strategies for this, this exam. I'm Shivgan Joshi and I'm from QC Finance. The exam has got two parts, uh, the stat part and the fact part. The stat part uh, is about statistic and fact part is about other fundamental. When you register for this exam, it currently uh, in 2014 costs around 3,500. Uh, the course material comes with some PDF and some video courses. The foundation course uh, has a numerical methods, differentiation, integration, vector and matrices. This is very similar to something you study in the 11-12. This uh, exam uh, is not beyond what you study in 11-12, so it would be the same thing. So this chapter uh, or this uh, book uh, uh, that you are going to study has got everything that is in the 11th, 12th, uh, the JE syllabus and more or less uh, easier than uh, that uh, when it comes to complexity but the questions would be tough so not a lot of formulas uh, given there. We talk about differentiation and integration, uh, you have to revisit uh, IIT JE maths in, in a lot of uh, rigorous way in, in terms of those substitution method and things like that and uh, that is some part that you have to be careful at. And vector and matrices, uh, the vectors, uh, uh, the 3D vector called uh, divergence, uh, uh, not a very sophisticated part as I told you, so uh, uh, you have to study uh, some parts about the 11, 12 and the same with matrices. The stat part is generally new to a person who has come from engineering background. I uh, will talk about uh, the different domains, uh, the different people who, who want to give this exam, but the stat has got 12 chapters, they are focused more on distributions, probability. Uh, more focused on normal distribution, this, uh, this stat part does not have uh, a regression or partial differential equation. Now coming to the strategy, uh, based on your background if you are in, uh, in, in engineering then uh, you will find stat something new, if you are 12th pass you have a lot of momentum you can go and crack this exam. If you are from accounting background uh, uh, you might find uh, some of the easier questions. Uh, uh, use those formulas that you might not be knowing but overall it's uh, it's uh, all all new so nothing like that for Amstrad, MSc, Maths and BSc this is a cakewalk. Uh, I, I talked to some of the people here who uh, people here who have given these exam and, and the Amstrad people generally clear a lot many papers uh, somewhere around 7 to 10 papers or even more than that so the Amstrad people have can clear these exams and the pure maths people but this becomes a challenge for people who come from uh, computer engineering or communication engineering, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering who finally land into finance uh, due to CFF, RM or uh, other such exams so uh, for those people uh, revisiting those formulas would be quite crucial. We'll look at uh, a formula series uh, in the upcoming classes. So uh, for, for the last three on your screen, I'm sure at, uh, MSc Maths, BSc Maths, this would not be a problem. For the first three, uh, the twelfth pass would not be a problem. Uh, they are quite new and flexible shape. If you are engineer late in your thirties, you are giving this exam, you need to revise a lot on formulas. People on accounting and CFA kind of people, now I see many CFA people clearing this exam because ultimately they get acquainted when they give CFA, FRM to some maths. I have some friends who gave CFFRM and then gave these actually and found it uh, quite easy the entrance exam. So, if you are there, if you've never studied maths, if you are totally from a uh, accounting background uh, or CFA background, then you have to go back and look at uh, things more easily. But uh, if if this exam is a high accuracy exam, then that would be a trouble. So that that was about my strategy. You can have a look at some of the other videos that I'm developing on this exam. Thank you for listening.